We handled the case on behalf of a surviving spouse and their 21-year-old son uh, involving the death of the husband and father by a garbage truck driven by Texas Pride. Now, Texas Pride was their garbage truck. What happened on this particular Saturday is my, my client's husband was outside doing yard work, and he'd been outside for several hours. And so the wife asked the son, go check on dad. He's been outside a few hours. Go see where he is. He should be in by now. Son goes out looking for dad, can't find him. Looks to be a dead dog in the street. And as the son approaches it, he sees his father's wedding ring. And he knows at that point in time that it's his father that is left in the street. You could imagine that that's a terrible thing to see happen to anyone. But in particular, his wife and his adult son, they really suffered the most out of this. Not only did they walk out of the house that night thinking their husband and father would be in the front yard still, that's an image you can't get rid of. And what's worse is they have lived in that home for their entire marriage, for longer than their son had been alive. And every single day after this happened, not only did they come home to a house that dad was never going to be at again, but they had to drive over the spot where their husband and father died and was left in the street like trash. How did we find out what happened? This is a unique case because this is one where Ring Doorbell and its videos actually helped us discover what happened who was at fault and how it happened. But essentially what happened is, is our client, the, her husband, was trying to wave down the garbage truck. The garbage truck drove into the area, drove right out. He's screaming, hey, I've got this thing, come get it. The garbage truck backs up at him. My client's husband walks towards the garbage truck. It bumps him to the ground. It runs over him, drives off and leaves the scene. We immediately file suit against Texas Pride and against its driver. Its driver is being prosecuted and is currently awaiting trial. But during the litigation, I can't get his deposition because he's pleading the fifth through his criminal prosecution. We talked to the corporate representative of Texas Pride. We learned that not only was there a driver in the truck, there was two helpers that worked for another company. And the two helpers, all their jobs are is to get out and throw garbage into the back of the garbage truck and to assist in the backup process. Well, the video that we have from three different angles makes it very clear neither of these two helpers ever got out to assist with the backup process. And the driver, who has a backup camera at his disposal, somehow misses our client's husband, runs him over with every single tire, and then drives back over him with every single tire, leaving this bloody mess in the street for the family to find. We filed suit against the two helpers. One of them has fled back to Columbia. One of them, we were able to get his depositions. And throughout this case, we were able to take every single penny that both Texas Pride and its staffing company had in available insurance. Took every penny they had. Now, it's not enough for my clients. They would much rather have their husband back my client would much rather have his father back, but this is what happened. And it's a case where Ring Doorbell essentially captured the incident for us. And then through litigation, we were able to establish that not only did the garbage truck driver make a mistake, his two helpers failed to get out and help him as well, thereby making both companies jointly liable for the loss of this man in front of his home.